This tutorial will show you how to apply a linear box and circular array. These can be applied in both 2D and 3D mode, and it's done by using the pattern tool in Inventor. The rectangular pattern tool is used for a linear and box array, and the circular pattern tool for the circular array. I'm going to do mine as 3D models. I'm going to first of all use this extrusion here to create a linear array. I'm going to select rectangular pattern and you can see in the dialog box it asks for me to select features. So I'm going to select extrusion. It will turn blue once selected. I'm now going to select direction 1 from the dialog box and I'm going to choose the direction that I want this extrusion to repeat in. So I want it to head down towards this face here. So I want this extrusion to move this way. So I'm going to select this face. Okay, so I selected a face in the direction that I want it to move. I can now in the dialog box change the number of repetitions and I can change the spacing between them. Okay, so that has created a linear array. So that's a pattern repeated in one direction. I'm now going to create a box array. A box array is a pattern repeated in a rectangular pattern. I'm going to go into rectangular pattern from the modeling tree. So I'm going to right click and edit feature to go back into that extrusion and pattern that we just created. And I'm going to show you how to transform that into a box array by applying a second direction. So from the dialog box, select direction two, and I'm now going to select a face in this direction. And the arrow will show you the direction that you've chosen. I can now change the number of repetitions and the spacing between them. And you can see the rectangular pattern has been created. This is known as a box array. So as mentioned, this can also be done in 2D sketch, but I've applied it here in th the 3D model mode. Now moving on to circular array. This is repeating a pattern around in a circular movement. I'm going to take this indent here and repeat it around the outer face of this model. I'll do this by selecting the circular pattern tool and again the dialog box asks for me to select the feature which will turn blue once selected. It then asks for me to select rotation axis. This is the axis that I wanted to rotate around in this case, this outer face here. I can then change the number of repetitions and the degrees that I wish for it to repeat around. So if I wanted it to go halfway around the model, I could change to 180 degrees, but I'm gonna stick with 360 degrees. So it will go all the way around the outer face. So you can see here, the circular array has been applied all the way around that model. Okay, so that is how to apply a linear box and circular array.